one of the most frequent questions I'm asked about are testosterone boosting supplements. Uh, I actually wrote an extremely in-depth article uh, and I cover in a, on a regular basis various testosterone or putative testosterone boosting supplements in my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. For example, uh, about a year or two ago, I had a uh, study on herbal testosterone boosters where I covered just about every herbal testosterone booster reputed to boost testosterone on the market. I told the truth about them, I told them how it worked and so on and so forth. In that article, I was only able to come up with actual evidence for only one herbal testosterone booster. In other words, I only found human and animal evidence for one that really seemed to do to work as touted. And that particular herb is, is called Tongat Ali. Uh, it has a botanical name of Uricoma longifolia. Uh, now, you pronunciation uh, specialists who always criticize me, you can look it up. I pronounced it right. I'm just going to refer to it uh, again. The most common name is Tongkat Ali. That's what it's called in Malaysia, which is one of the places it comes from. And uh, that's the most common name for it. It's also known as Long Jack. I'm going to refer to it throughout this video as T. Ali. T. Ali. Tongkat Ali. Uh, like I say, it's grown in Southeast Asia, some countries such as Malaysia, Vietnam, and Thailand. Uh, it's also it's been used as an adaptogen, meaning it, it's a uh, it's a natural herbal antidote to various stresses of of, uh, of all different kinds, and it's, uh, it's also been used in uh, in those countries for a long time, uh, many many years, to treat reduced energy, mood, and libido or sex drive. Now, uh, the active ingredients in, uh, in uh, Tiali, there's a number of them, uh, uh, but probably the most active are, are a small peptides called uropeptides. Uh, and there's many studies showing that it increases sex drive in animals. Some studies suggest that it, increase, it can increase low testosterone, uh, mainly by increasing the release of free or active testosterone through separating testosterone from sex hormone binding globulin. Now, this requires an explanation. Uh, normally, testosterone is produced, of course, mainly in the latex cells of the testin, which, with about 5% produced in the adrenal glands and elsewhere. But most of it's produced in the latex cells. Now, when testosterone is released, uh, there's uh, a, a protein produced in the liver called sex hormone binding globulin. This attaches to the testosterone. 48% of circulating testosterone is bound to this sex hormone binding globulin. Another 30, so maybe 35, 38% is bound to another protein called albumin. So only about 2% of the testosterone that circulates in your blood is bioactive or free. The important point is only the free or unbound form of testosterone can interact with androgen receptors and have biological activity. So when, when uh, testosterone circulates in the blood bound to sex hormone binding globulin, it's basically inert. It's inactive. Now, what this uh, T. Ali does, it seems to be able to separate the circulating uh, total testosterone or sex or testosterone bound to sex hormone binding globulin. It frees the circulating testosterone from its binding protein, and in that sense, it makes testosterone far more active. So you could say that rather than being a testosterone booster. You can say it's more like a testosterone activator. In other words, it'll make the testosterone produced in your body more active. And of course, when it's in the free state, that's when testosterone is actually anabolic. And it, all, it also uh, helps to uh, maintain normal testosterone levels by protecting against various forms of stress known to reduce testosterone levels, such as aging and overtraining. I, I hesitate to call aging a stress, but you know, as a person who's, got, who's getting old, I can tell you, Aging involves a lot of stress. Trust me, you'll find out. All of you, if you live to be as long as uh, as old as I am or older, uh, there's always a certain amount of stress involved with aging as tissues wear out and so on and so forth. That's why we exercise and take supplements to try and slow the process down. But uh, T. Uh, Ali is very good for overcoming some of the effects of some of the effects of aging and stress, which is inevitable. We'll, we'll always encounter it. That lower testosterone levels. It can raise low testosterone levels to normal levels. In fact, 
I would suggest, and this is what I wrote in my article in Applied Metabolics, that T. Ali is, is best for men or women who suspect that they have low testosterone levels and just want to bring them up to normal levels. If you already have, let's say you're 18 and 19 years or 19 years of age, where your testosterone levels are all at, already at peak levels, if you, uh, you know, you probably don't need T. Ali except for certain circumstances, which I'll discuss, because your body is already producing maximum rates of testosterone. T. Ali would not make much of a difference for you, but it would for anyone who's experiencing low testosterone levels. Now, now let's say you are a young person who has normal or even high testosterone levels, but you're doing things that can lower testosterone. For example, pre-contest dieting, where an extended intake of low calories can result in decreased testosterone levels. This can happen in somebody 18, 25 years of age. If your calories go low enough, there's going to be a feedback mechanism where your body stops producing as much testosterone as it normally does. A lack of sleep, even missing one normal night of sleep, can lower testosterone in an 18-year-old man by 15%. Now, if these people take T. Ali, it can probably bring up the lagging testosterone levels caused by those particular stressors. Uh, anyone who's in, uh, under a lot of stress, or, or even if you're engaged in overtraining, overtraining tends to produce an um, excess of cortisol, which is a catabolic hormone that, from the adrenal glands that breaks down muscle tissue, and it tends to rise during over, overtraining conditions. Uh, TLE can balance the testosterone and cortisol levels in favor of cortisol, I'm, I'm sorry, in favor of testosterone, while lowering cortisol, as we'll see in a minute through various studies. Uh, Tongat Ali has been used for centuries in Southeast Asia to treat loss of sexual desire and impotence, as well as depression, high blood pressure, anxiety, and fatigue. In fact, I saw a recent study showing that, I believe it was a test tube study or an in vitro study, but the study was interesting because it showed that a, a Tongat Ali extract seemed to also help prevent the initiation stage of cancer. Of course, this is a very early study. It involved isolated cells. So there's no actual proof that it can help prevent cancer in humans, but it's an interesting, another aspect of the possibilities of what T. Ali can do. Now, the best supplemental form, now you got to be careful about this, because I can tell you that Tonga Tong Ali, because of its reputation as an aphrodisiac and its reputation for increasing testosterone, uh, it's become pretty popular in recent years, and this has, um, this has caused a burgeoning of a lot of fake T. Ali supplements. In fact, I would venture to say that the majority of uh, TLA supplements sold on the internet are actually fake. Now, what are the best supplemental forms? The best supplemental forms are hot water root extracts known to contain at least 1% uricomanolone. These extracts always taste bitter because of the presence of substances called quasinoids in the herb. And that's one way of testing. If you purchase a TLA supplement, and you taste it, and it's not extremely bitter. Quasinoids are among the most bitter substances in nature. So if you taste Tongat Ali, true Tongat Ali, it's going to taste horribly bitter. If it doesn't taste bitter, it's fake. I can tell you right now, it's fake. That's one way of ascertaining whether you're actually taking actual Tongat Ali. Tongat Ali, as I just said, um, most of the, unfortunately, most of the Tongat Ali uh, sub, uh, supplements sold over the internet are indeed fake, and of course, if they're fake, they're not going to produce any effects at all. Uh, in fact, and another another thing that uh, that some unscrupulous companies have been doing in recent years, especially companies overseas, uh, because of this reputation of Tongi, uh, Tongat Ali as a aphrodisiac and libido enhancer, uh, they've uh, used fake Tongat Ali or underdose Tongat Ali. But what they've done is they've added small amounts of erectile dysfunction drugs, such as Cialis, Viagra, and Levitra. Of course, if you use these things and you take this fake Tongat Ali and you're having any kind of sexual problems, you probably will get a definite effect. But it's still fake Tongat Ali. You're, what you're doing is actually taking drugs. Uh, some people look at this as a feature. Some people won't. What can I say? Tongat Ali works because the uropeptides contained in the herb activate enzymes that increase the production of various steroids, such as pregnenolone and progesterone, which in turn are converted 
into DHEA and androstenedione, androstenedione, both of which are substrates for testosterone. So, you know, you could say that uh, Tangarali works by two mechanisms. It increases the production of precursors to testosterone, such as DHA androstenedione, and it also, as I said earlier, separates circulating t t uh, testosterone bound to sex hormone binding globulin. It separates the uh, uh, the testosterone from the from the binder protein, and re results in free testosterone, which is the most potent and active form of testosterone. So it actually works in two ways to increase testosterone. And again, I'm going to reemphasize that Tangadali always works better if you're under stress or, or under some condition which is causing lowered levels of testosterone, or if you naturally have lower le levels of testosterone, such as uh, you're a man, let's say, over age 40. Uh, by the time you're 60, uh, most men have testosterone uh, levels that are 50% lower than they were uh, at, let's say, age 20, because testosterone starts to drop about age 30 starts to decline 1% to 2% every year. So if you're in that category, th taking TLE will also help you. Human studies have confirmed sources of TLA have shown that it improves testosterone levels and increases muscular size and strength, and it improves overall uh, well-being. It reduces stress and reduces fatigue. In two studies of young men engaged in weight training, TLE at a dose of 100 milligrams a day improved lean body mass, one rep maximum strength, and increased upper arm size more than ingesting a placebo. <clears throat> I wrote about this study years ago in one of the bodybuilding magazines. I was, uh, what particularly caught my attention was the fact that they compared TLE to a placebo group, and the, and the uh, young men ingesting this 100 milligrams of TLE showed an increased upper arm size compared to the placebo group, even though both groups were using the same uh, bicep training program. So that, that was uh, very unusual, and I, I thought it merited an article. A 12-week study of TLE at a dose of 300 milligrams a day in men ages 30 to 55 showed significant improvement compared to placebo uh, in libido by the 11th and 12th mark. Libido, of course, is sex drive. Those ingesting the TLE also showed reduced abdominal fat mass. Now, you should know that anytime your testosterone increases, you tend to lose fat around the gut section. And conversely, when you're low in testosterone, you tend to accumulate fat in the uh, midsection, which is why a lot of men over 40, you'll see they have skinny arms, skinny, skinny legs, yet a lot of fat on the midsection. Very often these men are deficient in testosterone. That's one of the signs. Of course, you can always get fat on your midsection just from lack of exercise and eating too much too. So it's not always caused by low testosterone. I hate, let me put that in there too. And another study, TLE was provided to men with an average age of 51 who had low testosterone levels. They ingested 200 milligrams a day for one month. This led to an increase in testosterone levels in the men. Another study involved men average age 25 who ingested 100 milligrams a day of TLE and, enga TLE and engaged in an intensive weight, tra weight training program for eight weeks. All the men gained muscle mass and made straight strength gains. Still another human study featured providing 200 milligrams of TLE to 32 men and 31 women for a month. Some of them ingested a placebo. The results showed that those who ingested the actual TLE showed a 12% decrease in anger, an 11% decrease in tension, and a 15% decrease in confusion compared to those who ingested the placebo. The TLE group also showed a 16% decrease in cortisol with a 37% increase in testosterone. A study of women engaged in weight training with an average age of 45 to 59 showed that ingesting 100 milligrams a day of TLE for 12 weeks enhanced fat-free mass gains more than those who ingested a placebo but who used the same training program. Other studies show that ingesting 50 to 100 milligrams a day of TLE helps to maintain testosterone levels that would otherwise decline during dieting conditions. A study of endurance cyclists, a study of endurance cyclists that featured ingesting either TLE or placebo showed that the cyclists who ingested the TLE showed a 32% lower level of cortisol along with a 16% higher level of testosterone compared to cyclists who ingested a placebo. Studies show that TLE is non-toxic when used in the suggested dose range of 50 to 200 milligrams a day of a water-extracted TLE root supplement 
standardized to contain 22% uropeptides. That's what you want to look for. A hot water extracted T. Ali root extract that's standardized to contain 22% uropeptides. Now, again, it's a problem obtaining real T. Ali today because uh, uh, real Tangar Ali is a little bit on the expensive side, to be honest with you. I mean, it is. And, you know, the stuff, if, you, if you, you're buying like TLE that's like 10 bucks, I almost can guarantee you that it's fake. It's fake. Just like IGF-1, insulin like growth factor 1, they sell IGF-1 in some of these black market steroid sites. IGF-1, the true IGF-1 is extremely expensive. So if you're buying IGF-1 for 100 bucks, it's fake. It might be some other, uh, it might be a steroid, it might be testosterone, but it's not IGF-1. The same goes for TLE. If you buy a cheap form of TLE, uh, it's likely fake. So uh, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I, I honestly, I, I, I know that people will leave comments under this video suggest, asking me for a, you know, a suggestion for a genuine TLE. I really don't know of any. You're going to have to uh, look on Amazon. They sell a couple of brands. You could do a search on Google for Tonga Ali supplements. See what it says about the supplement. Possibly, if you really want to be sure, before you buy the supplement, contact the company that's selling it or send them an email asking them for proof, such as an analysis of this supplement, showing that it's true Tonga Ali before you spend your money and get ripped off by a rip off, by a fake Tonga uh, Ali. And again, I just want to conclude by pointing out that of all the testosterone, uh, so-called over-the-counter testosterone boosters that I've uh, looked at in the last couple of years, Tonged Ali, Long Jack, is the only one that appears to actually work. And again, it works best under existing low testosterone conditions. If you already have high testosterone levels, don't expect much at all from Tonged Ali. But it's great if you're dieting or experiencing any, any other stress that could temporarily lower your testosterone levels. TLE would be a good supplement for you to use. So that's about it for TLE. I, I will continue to cover uh, any new testosterone, uh, reputed testosterone supplements that come out in my Applied Metabolics newsletter. I'm not allied with any supplement companies. I have no ax to grind. I'm going to tell you the whole truth about this. I don't care who gets mad. I'm not out to hurt anybody, but I want to set the record straight. I want to tell the truth. I'm one of the last beacons of truth that you'll find anywhere on the internet because it's so commercialized. Everybody's trying to sell you something, especially in the way of supplements. But my Applied Metabolics newsletter is 100% truth. It's based on my 57 years of study and experience. www.appliedmetabolics.com uh, I, I, I cover nutrition, supplements, exercise, science, hormonal therapy, anti-aging research, fat loss techniques that work, women's health and fitness, ergogenic aids, uh, many other subjects, averages 40 to 50 pages every month. As I said, no ads, no BS, no bro science, just evidence-based truth. If you subscribe, I'll also invite you to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page where I post everyday new information about nutrition, exercise, science, and, and uh, general health and medicine every day. Uh, th this is open to subscribers only. Uh, I also have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics uh, 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 web website where subscribers can send me brief questions, which I'll be happy to answer at no extra charge. That's only for subscribers. I don't answer unsolicited questions. Uh, again, sub subscribe today at www.appliedmetabolics.com. Uh, I guarantee you won't find a better source of information anywhere. Check my qualifications. You could ch ch read the biography on the site. You can see, you know, my, my background. I put, I've had over 7,500 articles published in the past 37 years. I'm a professional writer. I know how to write, and I write in plain English. You'll be able to understand everything www.appliedmetabolics.com. If you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter, adopt a dog. They are terrific animals. All animals are terrific. Take care.